Hello everybody. Welcome back to CNS Corvettes in Sarasota, Florida. It's your Corvette buddy Lyle here to talk to you about more interesting, exciting, fun, invigorating, cool stuff about Corvettes. Thank you for joining me again today. I've got some really interesting things to show you today, specifically one really interesting thing. But before we get to that, I just wanted to remind you, if you are new to the channel, what we do is we talk about how to fix Corvettes, workarounds on little problems they have, general knowledge. If you're looking to buy your first Corvette, we have a lot of good information for first time buyers on our channel. So if you find, uh, if you find what we do useful, or, and if you think that we are helping you, by all means, please like the video, subscribe down here. There's a little subscribe bar under the video and uh, hit the bell for notifications to let you know when we make new content. It helps me and I really appreciate it. Oh, don't forget, uh, we still have some t-shirts left from our 2023 design run. Uh, if you wanna see an S Corvettes t-shirt, check them out on the website, links below. So about a year ago, we, did, we started selling a product that we had discovered two years previously and had on one of Steve's cars called the Red Light Bandit. That was basically a module you plugged into the gas pedal on your C6 or your C7, and what it did was it automatically eliminated the built-in factory throttle lag to where when you push the pedal down 50%, it would really only tell the computer that you were pushing down 25%. That module did one thing, and it did it well. It allowed you to get exact input from your pedal to the engine, so power was delivered much quicker, made the car feel much more lively, a lot more exciting, a lot more fun to drive. Didn't make any more horsepower, but it allowed you to get it into the power quicker. Well, here we are, all these months later, I've got several hundred people on a list waiting for more red light bandits. I don't think they're gonna make any more. Uh, the company that had made them, uh, sadly the owner passed away, and through a bunch of other stuff that's gone on, I really don't believe that those are gonna come back to market. So, I have been actively looking for months to find what I would consider to be a replacement slash improvement on that design. And we've looked at a bunch of different companies, and I, I've talked to a bunch of different people, hours and hours and hours that I won't bore you with, but what we came up with was, my parameters were, I wanted it to be made in the United States, number one. Number two, I wanted it to do exactly what the former product did or more, and I wanted it to be user friendly. Those are the three things I really, really wanted. So we got a couple of different modules in from a couple of different companies, and we plugged each of them into a car for well over a month. I think we have six and a half weeks living with them every day. And the module that we found did the most, the easiest, and was just basically overall the best thing we could come up with that met our criteria was something called the Solar Performance DLX. And that is a throttle controller that does many of, does the same thing that the Red Light Bandit did, but it does a lot more different stuff and it's also configurable in many different ways. Let me show you what this thing looks like, right? So it has the same kind of connection at your gas pedal. So if you can imagine ducking under your dash and you, get, you work your way back there and get to that big plug off the sensor on the side of your gas pedal, unplug it. Well, this unit has two plugs. One goes into the gas pedal, one goes into the harness from the car, and it hooks in that way, just like the old one did. But it has some other interesting things about it. First of all, it comes in this really, really handsome, nicely done package, which I always like that. But here's what's cool. It comes with a digital display that is backlit and adjustable, and you can do everything to change and upgrade and adjust from one to 10, and I'll get into all that stuff in just a second. But I want you to see this thing. Look at how cute that little guy is. He's like one inch by two inches. And so it's got the screen, excuse me. So it's got the screen, it's got the mode button and then the up down button, right? And on the back of it is 3M adhesive. So if you wanna plug this in to the controller that goes down on the gas pedal, you can stick this wherever you want in your interior and you can program it directly from here. Now, we'll get into the modes or something in just a second. But I think one of the coolest things about this system 
is this is great. If you're not a smartphone person, if you're not a techie person, this is super, super simple. It is all right on the display. Every mode comes up. The ones that are, about six of the modes are adjustable from one to 10, so you can further tailor them to exactly how you want your throttle to feel. That's all done here, and it is really, really cool. Now, there's a better part though. For those of us who are cell phone busy, the ones who are on their phones all the time, use their phones for all kinds of daily business, the cool thing about this guy is, it also comes with an app. So you can go in, it cut, connects to Bluetooth on your phone, and there are nine different modes, and I'll read them to you. There's original equipment, which means doesn't change the way that the car is, it's just like factory. Then there's comfort, which is slight improvement, but not much. Again, this is all gradients of, of improvement on throttle uh, initiation. Then there's sport, ludicrous, that's the mode we keep it in. Ludicrous is fun. Ludicrous is right now very exciting, but not unmanageable. There's drag race. Uh, we tried drag race in uh, a 550 horse CTSV Cadillac. Uh, I, drag race I would use on the track only, just saying. That is really, really right now throttle. Um, it also has artificial intelligence, which means it's going to monitor your driving habits and tailor its mapping to your driving over time. I think that's pretty cool. They also have a valet mode, so that you know if you're gonna have somebody park your 1200 horsepower car in a valet, it gives them just enough power to move it and park it, nothing more. Uh, the, there is a weather feature that will back off the throttle to, so you're not losing traction. There's also an economy feature, which supposedly gives you the best mileage. Between you and me, I don't think anybody who buys one of these things is worried about economy, okay? One of the other cool features, and I'll show it to you on here, you go to the home screen on your app, right? Go to settings, and you can lock your throttle out, which means the gas pedal won't work at all. What a great way to prevent your car from being stolen because even if they get the car started, they can mash that pedal to the floor all day. That car can't move. And they also have a manual setting. So if your car has a stick shift, then you can turn this feature on and it will keep you from over revving the engine when the clutch is engaged. That's pretty smart. That's race car stuff. So we've lived with this now, as I said, for about six and a half weeks and it does everything really well. Now, the nice thing is, if you don't want to have, let me pull this guy out again. If you don't want to have this little guy hanging around in your, uh, in your interior, you don't need it. You can unplug it, put, just keep it in your house and control everything from your phone. You don't have to have a wired additional display in your car. You can keep everything looking super clean and just change everything through your phone. Uh, I am really excited about this and it does make a big, big difference in how the car drives. Let me pull this out a little bit and just show you a little more of the package. So we know that the display is here, right? Let me not drop that and cost us money. And this comes out. So the part that really matters, the part that does the work is this guy. Okay. So this module here is the one that does all the Bluetooth, does all the computing, does all of the throttle actuation. Then you got your plugs going to the pedal and to the harness. And then this is your USB-C cable, I think it's called a C cable, that goes up and plugs into your little display that I just showed you. But again, if you don't want the display, you just keep this tucked up there, plug these in, comes with two zip ties to zip tie it up once it's in place. You just made it to your phone through Bluetooth and boom, you're good to go. You can turn it on and off, you can change it on the fly. And on six of the modes, you can change from like ludicrous mode, you can go from one to 10 or anywhere in between. And on your phone, let me pull that up again. I'm just, this is so cool. This circle here becomes a dial and you just move your finger where you want that setting to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And you can change it. Now, they say don't do this because it's, you know, dangerous. You don't want to adjust this when you're driving because you should be focused on actually driving. However, you don't have to be stopped to change this setting on anything. You can change it at a moment's notice if you're at a light, 
if you're on a road with nobody else around and you're being very careful, but of course, the official line from the company is, don't do this while you're driving. All in all, guys, I gotta tell you, I'm really excited about these. I'm, I was excited enough about them that I bought, uh, what did I buy? I bought 100 of them, and half of them are C6, so 2006 through 2013. They will not work on a 2005. Different throttle system, same reason nobody makes one of these for the, for the uh, C5. And then the second version runs C7 all the way through present day, C8 all the way up through 2024. Now, I've got, I'm holding five of each of these back in the shop here, just in case, because I got customers here who want them installed. So I have 45 C6s and 45 C7, C8s that I'm gonna be putting up for sale on my website tonight. If this video is live, they're live on my website. So I have a limited number of these. I can get more, but it take, because this company is in the United States, they're a small company and they assemble them in-house, it can take me one to two weeks to get an additional 100 units. So if you wanna be one of the first ones to have one of these, my suggestion is jump on them now this weekend. Granted, it is a holiday weekend. We're going into, we won't be here Monday and everybody's closed Tuesday. So these won't ship till Wednesday of next week at the earliest. So don't call on Monday going, where's my stuff? Because nobody's gonna be here. But if you guys really want one of these, if you are waiting for a red light bandit and want something that is better, more flexible, and just easier to live with on a daily basis, this is a great product for you. So go ahead and get on it. These units sell for $212, okay? And that includes shipping anywhere in the United States. So you don't have to worry about extra shipping fees. It's 212 and they do a lot for that money. Now they do fit other cars. Let me grab my list and I'll be right back and review what other cars these modules fit. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Now, you're gonna have to forgive me because I got a cheat sheet here that I just took pictures of off my computer screen. So the 2006 to 2013 Corvette Solar DLX also works on the fifth generation Camaro from 20, 2010 to 2015, uh, the second generation Cadillac CTS, and the Cadillac DTS from 2006 through 2011. Uh, that, let me get out of that. The C7 and C8 unit also works on the sixth generation Camaro from 2016 to now, the Cadillac CTS third generation from 2014 to 2019, the Cadillac ATS from 2013 to 2018, the 2020 and newer CT5, and the 2016 and newer CT6. So again, this is all on my website to see what other cars they fit, but listen, this is kind of neat. So if you drive the Corvette for half the year and drive your Cadillac for the other half the year because of weather or whatever, you can always take that unit out, put it in your other car and go. And you can, you can move this unit around to different cars if you so wish. Granted, because of the access, limited access to the gas pedal and the kind of circus midget contortions you have to do to get in there, it's not something you're gonna do every weekend, but you can either move it from car to car or buy more than one if you wanna have it in your cars full time. So that's pretty much it on the Solar Performance DLX. I am so excited to be able to offer this to you guys. I think it's gonna be a hoot for everybody who gets one. So as I said, there's 45 C6s, 45 C7, C8s available right now on the shelf. If you want them, come and get them. I'll ship them out as soon as Wednesday. If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments section below. Other than that, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend. I've been looking forward to making this video for two weeks. Thank you so much for all of your continued support, and I will continue to research and find the coolest products I can for you. Thank you. Take care.